Sunday morning. Mom or dad holler down the hallway, hey, get up, get ready for church. And there in that statement is hidden Jesus for you. We don't always think about going to church, about the divine service as Jesus for me. But that's exactly what it is. The entire service is put together to deliver to you Jesus, hope, promise, and peace. Right at the beginning, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we are reminded who Christ has made us to be, plucked us out of death, given us faith to believe, connected us to the cross of Christ. And now we are children of God. And the promises of Jesus on the cross are mine and yours, Jesus for you. We move from that into confession. And how can confession absolution be any fun at all? But there I stand humbly before the God of all the universe who should destroy me for my sin. And I trust in him and I confess my sins. And it's Jesus for you. As the pastor pronounces to you, you're forgiven. That Jesus has paid the price for your sin and has been delivered to you. We sing the Kyrie next. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please, Lord, continue to show me your mercy to give me Jesus for my day. God's word is read into our ears where we hear again stories of faith. The pastor preaches, and yes, he preaches the law clearly, and you see your sin. It's right there before you. And as you see your sin, you hear Jesus for you. You hear the cross. You hear the story and the cry from Good Friday, it is finished. You hear Jesus rising from the dead on Sunday morning, and you know all of that is for you. You are forgiven, not by anything you've done, not because you've been on time for church every Sunday, but because Jesus has given his life for you and declared to you your sins are forgiven. We move into the service of the sacrament. More Jesus for you. There on the altar in the bread and wine, the pastor says the words of institution, take and eat, this is my body. Take and drink, this is my blood of the new covenant given and shed for you. Luther would say those are the most important words in the institution. All of this, Jesus here on the altar, in, with, and under his true body and blood is Jesus for you, for your forgiveness. And at the end of the service, the pastor sends us out with great good news. He sends us out with the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you his peace. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All of that in that one hour is Jesus for you. God delivering his good gifts to you so that you might continue to live as his child in joy and peace. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.